Behind every successful team is a motivated coach who truly loves and enjoys his or her job. That's exactly case in point at WKU. People ask all the time, like, how do you do it? Like, and I'm like, I got, to, I got a dream job. Like, I do something I love to do. Head coach Michelle Clark Hurd's passion for coaching at WKU isn't just because it's her first head coaching gig. Clark Hurd was a member of the Lady Toppers herself from 1986 to 1990. Me having a chance to come back and, and coach at my alma mater and be around a lot of people uh, that I still uh, had ties with and still had relationships with. and That's the part that is so awesome and amazing uh, for me. Taking over a team in 2012 that posted a 10-21 and 21 record before her arrival, she wanted to get the program back on track to where it had once been. The level of uh, the expectations that the staff and I constantly put on them and wanted them to understand and know that this program has a ton of rich history and uh, we just wanted to continue to kind of bring that back and and work as hard as we could to make sure that uh, Western Kentucky became relevant again. And that's exactly what she has done. Since taking the reins, the Lady Tubbers have won two conference tournament championships, made two NCAA tournament appearances, and have won more than 70% of their games. Those things, I think, uh, really put uh, Western Kentucky Lady Top of Basketball where people really started to continue to recognize that we're growing and getting back to where we need to. After being named the CUSA Coach of the Year and one of the Pat Summit Trophy finalists last season, she was selected as an assistant coach for the Pan American women's basketball team this past summer. It was like a dream come true. Uh, any coach uh, would love to have the opportunity to represent your country, uh, but to be a part and be chosen and understanding and knowing how many amazing coaches have been involved in USA Basketball. Clark Hurd said coaching on the international stage has without a doubt been one of the highlights of her career thus far. Just so humbled and thankful that, you know, I had the opportunity and, you know, not to, you know, to represent your country is crazy. Like, every single time when they was uh, about to do um, our national anthem before every game, it just like gives you chills. But she realizes that it wouldn't have been possible without WKU. I just think it's, uh, it gives a lot of credit uh, to this program and to our players and to the coaches uh, because all the things that they, you know, I'm the one that's in the forefront, but we all know uh, to have, to, for me sitting here and have those accomplishments to be able to coach USA uh, basketball and to get, you know, these awards, it all comes from everyone else. and so. I give a lot of credit to everyone that's surrounded around me.